What's up guys, it's the Trucking Guy. Welcome to the Trucking Guy channel. I appreciate you guys tuning in. If you like this channel, please give me a thumbs up as well as click the notification button, subscribe to the channel. Uh, it helps with the algorithm. So let's get right into it. This is gonna be about tarps and what tarps are the best size. You can go to MyT Products and get tarps. You can get them used on Facebook, whatever. You can get them anywhere you wanna get them, but basically you do need some good tarps. Um, eight foot tarps, drop tarps, lumber or steel guys with D-rings every two feet up the outside uh, with the bungees that have the S hook in the back bit so that when you flip it around, you're gonna hook it to your base. You're not gonna hook it towards the tarp, but the back of the hook will not cut the tarp. That's what you need, okay? Um, but basically eight foot drop tarps for a hot shot you need two of them um, you also want to get a tarp patch kit guys you're gonna get holes in your tarps you want to be able to patch them on the road okay very very necessary and do it yourself so that you don't show up to a job with a hole in the tarp and they say that there's a potential cargo plane issue um, if you have the ability you want to get a couple smaller tarps as well if you have the money or just invest in them because you don't always want to be pulling eight foot drop tarps to you know tarp a, a, a two inch tall pipe or a row of pipe or pallet of pipe, bundle of pipe, whatever you want to call it, that goes down the trailer. If, you, if that's the case, you want to be able to pull out something that's maybe like a nice, uh, you know, throw tarp or something that's a four foot drop tarp or something like that that's going to be lighter because, guys, the eight foot drops are heavy um, and you don't want to mess with them every single day if you don't have to, right? You only want to do that for the loads that you need to do it, but you need to be prepared to tarp, be ready to tarp. The eight foot drop tarps are the best way to go. Do not get a parachute tarp. Parachute tarps are not going to really, they're more of a dust cover than anything. They're not going to really keep off much moisture. Moisture is still going to wick through. Moisture does wick through your steel and lumber tarps as well, but it's a lot less and you're going to be able to keep something dry. Um, you may even keep a backup, just, you know, Lowe's, uh, you know, 10 ply tarp to throw down on the trailer so that no residual water comes through the bottom of the trailer. Um, you know, during, you know, the tires throwing it up, splashing it up, whatever. Put that down first or some Visqueen and then put your product on top of it and those are going to get beat up and get holes in them and things like that so you want to go cheap on those and then put your good tarps on but it's not enough to just have a tarp guys you gotta also have tarp blankets a lot of people don't understand this they buy tarps they come into the industry they throw them over and they tear them on the first load second load third load they're they're constantly buying tarps and they're like man i don't know what i'm doing wrong what you're doing wrong is you need to be padding this stuff you need to be using a, a corner protectors, okay? They have like a tennis ball round deal. They look like a triangle. They stick on the corner of a box, hypothetically, but you can use them for many different things. You wanna get you a, a few rolls of duct tape so that you can tape those blankets in place and tape those corner protectors in place. Guys, the tarps are three, four, five hundred dollars a piece. They're going up with inflation, so they're expensive. You don't wanna damage them on your first, second, third load. You know, you wanna make them last as long as possible. Um, no matter what you do, it seems like you're always going to be getting a hole, so that tarp patch kit is essential. Um, you know, they have a couple of them on there. When you have a hole, patch it up, order another one on Amazon, whatever. Um, but basically, if you really had your druthers about it, you know, for a, everything is measured in 53 step deck. So when you buy tarps, you're buying a tarp kit for a 53 step deck or 53, you know, flatbed. So they're not measured in hot shot lengths or quantities of 40 feet or whatever, 45 foot trailer, whatever you got. So you're gonna wanna you know, get the two or the three piece kit. If you get the three piece kit because they're 53, they're 26 and 26, if they're eight foot uh, drops, they're gonna, they're gonna be an overlap and there's gonna be need to be a tarp in the middle. So you tarp from back to front, um, you roll them out and there's also a special way to fold them. I have another video, you can go check that out on my channel. But um, basically you roll them up like a taco and there's a certain way to spread them out. So um, eight foot drop tarps are the best. It's, it would be perfect scenario to have two eight foot drops for a hot shot, two four foot drops for a hot shot. So you have the smaller tarps or even like two two foot drops that you could uh, throw over something smaller, but you've also got the, the taller tarps for whenever things are 10 foot tall, you know? Um, but basically making sure you have adequate paddage, uh, you know, getting tarp blankets so that you can tarp stuff and bungee that around, having extra bungees to bungee that around things and tape it in place so that it doesn't slide and double and triple and, and whatever it up so that your tarps won't get a hole poked in them. You know, throw some cardboard up there, throw those blankets up there, uh, as many as you need, pad sharp edges, anything that's a sharp edge, pad it, uh, you know, and tape that padding in place, do whatever you gotta do to make sure it's not gonna fall, you know, tie it in place with string, whatever, and do a good job to protect your tarp. Take the extra time so that you're on your up front so you don't have to take the extra time going down the road screwing with it because nobody wants to constantly be stressing and worrying about a tarp flapping or coming off or messing up on a load. You know, take that extra hour or two, get it done right so you don't have to worry about it when you're going down the road. 
as far as a flat deck goes, guys, or a step deck, um, the amount of tarps that you need is three. It's a three pair set. Uh, you can get them in basically, or a three set, uh, of eight foot drops, four foot drops, six foot drops, and two foot drops is the way they're measured. Um, the drop is the amount of, uh, you know, tall height of the load. Uh, so if you're gonna be, you know, having a customer and doing considerably the same thing day in and day out, then you kind of know what you can get. You can get a six foot drop, you get a four foot drop. That's four foot high, six foot high, whatever. They have a flap in the front that folds over, and they have a flap in the back that folds over. Um, so you would need a three piece kit, but you wanna have a backup tarp in case something goes wrong or one goes bad or it shreds or flips, splits down the middle. So you definitely wanna have a backup and not just rely on it. how many you have is how many you need, okay? So that's the trucking guy signing out. Wanted to make this one short. Best of luck, go get you some tarps.